Hi there, Lawrence here from HIP10. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do an approvals process in Salesforce. Now, this is really useful if there's some kind of process in your business and you want to just put some checks or balances in place so that perhaps things don't just uh, skip through the system and then suddenly you find out there's a big mistake and it's going to cost you a lot of money. So you can build an approval process on pretty much anything in Salesforce, whether it be adding a new account, creating a quote, uh, putting an opportunity in the system, you know, creating a new lead, what, whatever it is, whatever you need, we can attach an approval process to it. So in this example, we're going to do it as, a, as we create a quote, and we're going to make sure that our manager approves the quote before we send it out to the customer. Maybe uh, then you perhaps, or maybe uh, the quote has a certain discount percentage, whatever the criteria, uh, we can match it up. So right now we're logged in as uh, Bob and we're in an opportunity. So first thing we're going to do is create a new quote and we'll just call this uh, generator quote version 1. We'll put in some basic details like when it's going to expire. We're going to leave the status as draft, which is what we want. And uh, for the contact we'll choose uh, Bob Smith. And let's click save. Okay, so here's our quote, let's open it up. Now, what I've done is I've just put a little banner here to make it easier for the user. So when ready, please submit quote for approval. Just a little helper so they know what to do. Uh, so let's just quickly add some products. So let's add uh, one of each of these. Now, I've also done another video around quoting. So if you want to see more about how to quote, I'll include that in the comments as well. Maybe we want to put a, a discount on some of these items. Uh, so as I mentioned before, you can have the approval process be triggered on, say, for example, discount level. Like if the overall discount is above 20%, enforce the approval. If it's not, don't enforce the approval. You've got options. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and, and run it regardless of the approval. Okay, so here's our, our line items. Now, what you'll see is up here, there's no option to to, to generate the quote, to prepare the PDF document. That's because it's not visible yet until after the approval has been completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Submit for Approval button. Now it gives you the opportunity to add a little comment. So I'm going to say, Hi boss, please approve this quote as customer wants it ASAP. Signed, Bob. And then I click Submit. So when that happened, it's automatically moved us from draft into in review. Now again, you can customize this as much as you want to do whatever you want, but in this case we've got a draft stage and in review, approved, rejected, and then there's two other stages here that we're not going to use in this demo. So now we're in review stage. Now if we just scroll down a little bit, and I'll just pop my head over here for a moment, down here, we can see that an approval request was submitted. And if I click on it, here's the message from before. And we can now see that it's in a pending stage and it's with the user called HIP10 Demo, which is perhaps my boss, as an example. Uh, and we can see who submitted it. It was Bob. So at this point, now that we're in approval process, I can't mess around with this quote. I can't change anything. So if I try and, for example, change the, exp uh, the expiration date, let's say move it to the end of November, and I try and click Save, it's going to give me an error. This record is locked. If you need to uh, edit it, contact your admin. Because what we don't want is people to be modifying things while we're trying to review it. We want it to be locked in place so that uh, there's no mistakes, there's no ambiguity, things don't get added or, 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 or removed while we're, we're looking at it. Now if, for example, as Bob, I went, whoops, I was a bit quick and I didn't mean to submit this for approval yet, we, we have a get out of jail card. So if we go to related, down here, there's a recall button. So if I click recall, I can put a comment, whoops, forgot to add the labor to the quote. If I recall this, you'll see we're now back in draft stage. And if I go to details, um, I will actually be able to edit these values now because we're out of the approval process. So that's kind of a nice way if 
you know, if someone forgets something, they can just recall it. So let's go back into approval process. Please approve and submit. So again, we've moved into the in review stage of this quote. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly flick to the approver side just so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so here is the approver's inbox. So we've received an email and this, this message of course can be customized. This is just a default. Bob Smith has requested your approval for the following item. Now if I click on that, it'll take me straight to the quote and I can then look at approving it. Now, you can customize this email. You could show, for example, the quote name uh, and some other details, whatever uh, you need to, to be effective, maybe the amount, the discount, uh, and a, a hidden known trick as well. If you turn this feature on, if you reply and you just say, for example, approved, it will go and automatically approve the quote in Salesforce. So that's another feature if you don't want to open it on your mobile or on your laptop. You can actually reply to these approval requests with the word approved or, or say denied, and it will approve the request for you. Now again, through the magic of video, we're now logged in as the approver, and we're on the home page. Now, I've customized this so that you can actually see here the items to approve. So uh, we're just going to click on that. Okay, so here's the approval request, and we can see again the comments from the person, Please approve, so nothing too special there. And if we click over here, it's going to take us straight to the quote. Here we've got some fields that I've made visible, so we can see the overall discount and the total. Perhaps uh, you could add other fields if they're important. So let's go to this quote, and we're just going to scroll down here. Now you'll see this has been uh, recalled and submitted and, and, and gone back and forth. I'm just going to click the approve option, and I'm going to say the quote looks Great, go sell it, and I'm going to click approve. Now when I do that, this quote has moved to the approve stage automatically. So uh, it's, it's moving the quote through your business process, and now uh, let's switch back to Bob and see what he can see. Okay, so now we're logged in as Bob, and again, we're still in the approve stage, but through some of the magic of Salesforce, we now have some new buttons. We have a Create PDF button. So if we click that, we can now generate the quote. But that was not visible until we went through the approval process. So it was physically impossible for me to create the quote without it first getting approved by my manager. And you can have more than one approver, or you can just have one, or you can, as I said, you can be selective and only initiate the approval process under certain criteria, e.g. discount, maybe the industry of the customer, their size, maybe number of employees, the value of the quote, uh, whatever you need, really. Um, and you can also put some um, other things in place so that, you know, if you're in the draft stage, you can't just uh, set yourself as approved. You know, you can uh, enforce some rules to prevent that. Basically, you can lock it right down so that it must go through approval uh, so that you always get a consistent outcome uh, with your business process through Salesforce. So hopefully that's useful. Uh, as always, if you'd like to know more, please comment below, and I'll be more than happy to, to give you a demo or give you some helpers with it. Have a great day.